Welcome to Stuck Time to Improv. I'm Mary Scott with Business Riff, and I want startups to be wildly successful. One of the mistakes startups make is they don't have a business plan, and we're so happy to have Robin Swalmy from Startup to Growth, and we're going to be talking about what are the toughest parts of a business plan? Why do you get stuck, and how do you get unstuck? So thanks for coming, Robin. Well, thank you, Mary, for inviting me to be your guest on this podcast. I'm excited. And you're right. It's the business plan that people are just having a tough time with as startups. Right. And it's not necessarily something you have to follow letter and verse, but it makes, it gives you a real good place to go and to look back at and to figure out what needs to be tweaked later. So let's talk about what's the toughest part of a business plan. Honestly, it's embracing it and getting started. It's not even the technical part of the plan. Uh, when I talk to people, I'll say, well, do you have a business plan? And I can tell their eyes shift downward, they look away, <laughs> you know, and there's actually, um, it, they feel bad. They feel very badly that they don't have a business plan. So there's this, not shame, that's too strong of a word, but there's this really bad feeling like they know they should have one. And yet I, I think the reasons that they don't are they're overwhelmed. They, they just don't it seems too big. It seems too much. Um, they're fearful. They're afraid it has to be absolutely perfect. And believe me, here's the secret. You, this, this will solve, this will solve everything for you. It does not have to be perfect. In fact, it cannot be perfect. Um, and they're, they don't have the knowledge. So their lack of knowledge just holds them back. So they, they don't start. That's actually the toughest part is just to get them to start their business plan. So what's a good baby step, first step to get started? Pick up your pen, <laughs> pick, put, open up a document on the Word document, on a Word computer, however you process, whether it's index notes, whether it's a PowerPoint deck, um, a piece of paper, go where you can write and, and start with your dream. So I talk about dream big, execute small, be consistent and wrap it up in a plan. So when I start, I don't start with the technical part. I start with the strategy. What do you want? You know, and I believe you have to own it. And a lot of time there's what we call a BHAG, big, hairy, audacious goal. It comes from a, a book called Built to Last by um, Jim Collins and Jerry Porras and a BHAG. So it's that goal that is so big that you're almost afraid to voice it. And if you don't voice it, if you don't own it, it will not happen. So it's starting with that big dream and just owning it, you know, and then talking about the steps to get there. So we, then we do strategy. We do, um, so part of it is dreaming big and getting your mission and your vision and your values together. We walk through that. You can do that yourself. Just what, what are your values? What, what characteristics, traits do you hold so close to your heart that you feel like you'd die if they're violated? So, so what are your values as you walk through life? Um, and that will help you create your mission and vision, what you stand for, what you want to achieve in your life. We have one life on, her, on earth, right? We want to make the best of it. And your business is a part of that. And then we talk about your SWAT, strength weaknesses, which are internal, opportunities and threats, which are external. People are so used to doing this for corporations, for big businesses. Do it for yourself. This is extremely important for you. Um, and then there's a way to analyze your SWAT to make the best objectives and goals for your business. And that's where you start. Then it's the technical stuff after that. <laughs> Does that make sense, Mary? It makes a lot just... of sense. And, and putting it in an outline or just putting things on business cards, you know, what are your non-negotiables? Yes. And, and where do you want to go? Who do you think a client is? What yes. do you want to do for them? What outcome do you want your clients to have after using your product or service. So those, when you put them down, it gives you much clarity in how to get there. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of value to literally writing it down. <laughs> I posted something on LinkedIn today about, are you being dishonest with yourself in some area of your life? Is there something that you're just not owning up to? 
And sometimes it's as simple as your BHAG and your business or that you want to start one or that you want to grow one. Or maybe everybody thinks you should be this really huge business and you want to be a small business solopreneur and, and have a work-life balance that fits into you, your life and your family. It doesn't matter. When I, when I work with somebody, it doesn't, I don't care what their dream is. I want them to know what their dream is. That's the most important part. And here's the thing. Perfection, just kick it out the window. <laughs> okay, so use sticky notes. I remember walking into a board meeting and I had a board meeting with, you know, attorneys, um, lawyers, uh, bankers, government people. And there was an IT guy on my board at that point, And I had a whiteboard um, and sticky notes. And he's like, oh, yes, <laughs> we did our planning with sticky notes. You know, you can move sticky notes all over the board. They're not, and you can rewrite one and stick another one over it. This is not about being right or perfect. It's about getting what is in your heart out into a tangible form and then working with it. Right. It's almost like coming up with your tagline or your elevator pitch. The one you come up with initially is going to get changed and edited and tweaked and pivoted and moved over the next few months. Yes. And that's a good thing. But yes. the big thing is to start today. In the next 10 minutes, write the name of your company and what its purpose is. Absolutely. Get started. Just start do <laughs> yeah, just do that one small thing and you'll be amazed at how easy it is to do the next thing because you've gotten started. Absolutely. So dream big, execute small with that. That means five minutes a day to work on it. Great. If you're a chunk person, do it an hour a day. However you work best, it's, it's up to you. Um, execute small, be consistent, complete it, wrap it all up in a plan and you've got a business. Right. Sounds good. Thank you so much, Robin Swamy. And we'll put information about um, how to get a hold of you and whatever else you may have to offer people. Thank you, Mary. If someone's listening to this and just wants to chat, I'm really good at chats and I can usually offer some wisdom in that chat um, at no cost on my dime just to get you started in the right direction. Because I really want you to succeed according to your pathway, not mine. And I'm so thanks again, Robin Swamy from Startup to Growth. I'm Mary Scott with Business Riff, and I want startups to be wildly successful. So join us again for Stuck Time to Improv.